These are the Frente Amplistas, supporters of the Broad Front Coalition, who took to the streets Sunday night to cheer for Daniel Martinez. The former mayor of Uruguay's capital, Montevideo, emerged as the front runner for next month's second round ballot, with just over 40% of the vote. Citizens are going to choose the person who can best lead them in the process of making Uruguay richer in a more just country. Martinez will face runner-up Luis Lacalle Pou of the Conservative National Party. Lacalle immediately received the backing of the third and fourth place parties, collectively representing 52% of the vote, enough to land Lacalle the presidency. The next government will not be a national party government. It will be a multicolor government led by the national party. The election on Sunday had an historic turnout of around 90% of Uruguay's 2.7 million eligible voters, according to the electoral court. And the runoff promises to be one of the most highly contested races ever. Gerardo Caetano, a political analyst at Uruguay's University of the Republic, says the results are a consequence of political fatigue and disenchantment with the economy. Unemployment has risen. 60,000 jobs have been lost, which is a lot for a small country like Uruguay. There is a budget deficit of almost 5 percent of the GDP, among other negative numbers. Sunday's election also featured the failed Live Without Fear referendum that, among other measures, proposed to deploy soldiers to law enforcement duties. Polarized as the country may be, Uruguayans take pride in the fact that the elections here are peaceful and orderly, especially with large and sometimes violent demonstrations taking place elsewhere in the region. The second round runoff will take place on November 24th. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Montevideo, Uruguay.